sorry I can't be there personally to tell you all how rewarding it is to study a STEM subject, but I promised Miss Lynch me that I'd give her a presentation, and instead of a PowerPoint, I decided to make a video. <laughs> and so, um, currently I'm studying mechanical engineering, and I'm a student advocate as well as a course rep for the engineering and computing faculty at Coventry University. And as you would have already been told, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Science being physics, for example, technology being computing and ethical hacking. Engineering can come in the forms of civil, mechanical, motorsport, aeronautical or even manufacturing. Um, mathematics, that's pretty self-explanatory, but you can also choose to specialise in statistics or applied mathematics. And have, so, I've been asked, have I always wanted to do mechanical engineering? No. In year 10, I thought I was going to read law at uni. <laughs> well, that was until Ms. Ashdown told me that I failed at constructing sentences. <laughs> but in year 10, 10, in year 12, I researched the degrees I could go into with my favourite subjects, them being physics and maths, and obviously I came to finding engineering, and then I narrowed down into doing mechanical because that, those were the papers that I enjoyed most in both physics and maths. And what I realised is that you have the liberty to develop your interests, especially at BHHS. You're always encouraged to enter this male-dominated field without feeling fearful or intimidated. And it's just, it's really nice to see how much support and encouragement you get from all the teachers in the high school. And funnily enough, I was asked to take part in this interview regarding the female perspectives in a male-dominating field. And one of the questions were, was it a shock to see how outnumbered females are? To which I answered, when you enter engineering, or any engineering degree, you're not going to see hundreds and hundreds of females on a daily basis. You need, to take, you need to take it with a pinch of salt and remember that you're taking part in a form of evolution where the change of females entering engineering will take place gradually. And not even engineering, just any technical fields. And I think the biggest aim is to increase this gradient of the rate at which females enter this degree. But the point that I want to get across to all of you is that it's vital to have female input and perspectives because it's highly valuable because it's still very rare to find female engineers. When I work with my group of friends, boyfriend, no, male friends, friends who are boys, um, <laughs> they often forget the tiny details and they overlook small yet vital information. For instance, the other day I overheard this group of boys then they decided to um well currently we're doing a water pump project to take place in Nepal and one of their ideas was that they should put the pump and the tap two meters above ground level to avoid any potential animal attacks or floods mate I'm 152 centimeters I won't be able to reach that how are the kids in Nepal gonna reach that so I think this shows that women are more attentive to tiny details and they're more empathetic towards the target audience. But covering what other things that I'm learning at the moment, I have labs and basically these are weekly presentations and posters that I need to present. I have engineering applications being um, MATLAB and this is where I learn coding and programming. I have um, CATIA and this is a computer aided design. I have this light bridge project where this bridge needs to transport a kilogram of weight over an 80 cm track and I also have an engine strip where I take part an engine completely apart and I put it all together again. Obviously I still have maths, mechanics and ele electrical science. But basically all in all I strongly urge anyone out there that's considering one of these STEM subjects to really give it a chance because 
at the end of the day, we're not forcing you to take, to take, well, to do this um, particular subject. We want to encourage the girls who want to do it to not be fearful and to not feel intimidated of entering this male-dominated field. And so, thank you for listening. Um, I hope you guys have a good STEM fair. Thank you. Bye.